On this episode of Average Guy DIY, we're going to fillet some Pollock. Stay tuned. first thing you want to do when filleting a fish is have a really sharp knife or have an actual fillet knife. Also keep in mind I'm not a professional, I just do this for fun. Now with that being said, the best thing to do is to scale the fish first and it does make this process a lot easier. Unfortunately I didn't have the time to do that so I just went straight to fillet and I'm going to cut the skin off. Now when it comes to filleting a fish, you definitely don't want to do it with a fish that's too small. You want the fish to be a decent size. It makes filleting that much easier. So just a heads up, because this fish is not scaled or clean, or it hasn't been frozen, so a lot of people like to fillet their fish when they're semi-frozen so that there's not a lot of blood running and stuff like that. It can be a little graphic, uh, but it's pretty simple. So I'm right-handed. So I'm going to take the fish and point the spine towards me and make an incision cut behind the fin under the neck. I like to go as far as I possibly can without cutting the head off. As you can see the scales are all over my hand. I'm going to clean this fish when it's done being prepped. Next I'm going to make an incision down the spine of the fish keeping my blade above the fins. While I'm inserting my knife here, I'm feeling for the actual spine. And you'll feel it and you'll hear it go click, click, click as the knife goes down the bone. Opening the skin up, I notice I can go a lot deeper down that spine. And that's what you're gonna be looking for. Now, if you do this with a dull knife, you're going to cut all the meat up and it's going to come out all uneven and it's going to be very difficult to do this. So make sure your knife is really sharp. You can really see how deep that cut is now and you can flip your knife around and go the opposite way to make sure that cut is where it needs to be. Now the next step is I'm going to Take my knife and poke it through the back all the way into the fish's gut. And I'm going to slice all the way down his tail. If you have a really, really sharp knife or you're really good at this, it's best to do it in one fluid motion to make sure you don't damage any of the meat. And I'm going to do this right down to the tail. You can really see how tender this fillet is going to be. Next, you want to just slowly take your time and peel the fillet away from the rest of the body of the fish. Then I normally do one last cut. As you can see, because this fish isn't scaled, it's a little difficult to hold on to. And presto, you got one fillet. So later on I'll cut the skin off that fillet and then we'll clean it up. Okay, so on to the next side. What we're going to do is we're going to start by just flipping the fish around and make our incision cut underneath the fin towards the neck. Again, you want to make sure that that cut is a very strong cut. And if you're like me and you're not a very experienced filleter, don't be ashamed to do more than one cut to make sure the cut is perfect. Next, we're going to do the same cut like we did on the other side, but instead of starting from the top of the head, we're going to start from the bottom of the tail and cut along the spine up to the head. Now keep in mind, if this fish was scaled, that knife would slide in there like butter. So just like before, we're making a slight incision above the fin to try and find the spine. Just like before, you're going to continue to do this right up to the head 
of the fish. So as before, this initial cut is not deep enough. But now that we know where we're cutting, we'll be able to cut above the spine to make a really good incision. And you'll notice if your knife is sharp enough, the meat will slide right off the bone as you cut it. Continue to do this until you feel comfortable to move on to the next step. Now that that's done, we're going to slide our knife just like before through the fish into the gut to cut down the tail. I like to keep my cut above the lower fin so I can make sure to cut the fins right off. Once you do that, just like before, you're going to slowly peel away the skin from the rest of the fish to create your second fillet. And lastly, one final cut to finish the job. There you have it, two fillets ready to be skinned and cleaned. All right, so because this fish was not scaled, we're gonna cut the skin off the fish. And this can be very tricky. You wanna make sure you have a very sharp knife. Start by making a very small incision so that you can separate the skin from the meat. Then you hold the skin down with your fingers as you slowly cut the meat away from the skin. Once again, you'll notice that the skin is very slippery on the cutting board, and that's just because the fish was not scaled. If you scale the fish, the cutting board also stays a whole lot cleaner. Once you get a good grip on the skin, you're gonna cut straight through and separate the meat from the skin. And that's it. You're just gonna prep and clean the filet and get it ready to be cooked. I really hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for the next one. Take care and enjoy your day. Thanks for watching.